Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's uh, Thursday, December 10th, just doing a morning drive. Um, I'm testing out a, uh, or maybe getting accustomed to, uh, a new camera that I got. Um, I cashed in my um, rewards points on my credit card, since I don't do anything else with them. And uh, I got myself a uh, GoPro Hero 3. Uh, it's a pretty neat little camera. Um, it's really small. Um, a little confusing to use. It doesn't have very many buttons on it. It's all menu driven. Um, it's got this, uh, this little remote here. Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm just getting used to it. I want to see how this actually looks. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this camera all the time to, uh, to do my uh, how-to videos and things like that. It's, uh, it's a little different than the other camera I have that I just snap onto my tripod and can uh, zoom and stuff. This doesn't look like it has a zoom feature, although for, I guess, what this camera retails for, I would, I would think it should, but uh, um, I did a couple of videos with it, you know, just to fool around and, you know, get, get accustomed to the buttons and things, and um, the picture quality seems to be really awesome on it. There's a lot of different uh, screen resolution settings and uh, width, widescreen, narrow screen, medium screen. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to play around with it a little bit and see if I, uh, like I said, just get accustomed to it. So, anyway, uh, I haven't really been doing too much in the garage. I went out there last night. Um, it was actually colder in the garage than it was outside. like 41 outside I could swear it was in the 30s in the garage I don't have a thermometer out there maybe I should uh, maybe I should get one but, uh, turned the heat on for a little bit but it didn't really seem to like, really cut the edge at all it was just like kind of icy cold in there and uh, yeah I suppose I could open up the door and you know let the temperatures equalize a little bit but I was kind of uh, worried about um, all the moisture in, air, in the air and stuff and uh, it usually gets my tools all I guess a little wet, I get condensation all over them, and I don't really uh, want uh, them rusting, you know, too much. So uh, anyway, I did mess around out there a little bit with the uh, 4L80E, um, deflashed the housing a little bit, cleaned it up a little bit more. And I uh, I got a uh, response on my video on it from Spike Punk who. Um, he uh, rebuilt Corvair Wilds uh, 4L80E last summer in his basement, and um, he gave me a couple of pointers. And, uh, he, you know, he's got a lot of experience with GM transmissions. He says he's done a lot of turbo 400s. And currently, he messes around with you know 4L80E, 700R4s, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, any uh, any advice is always welcome. Of course, you know. Uh, that's what it's all part about uh, the garage gang, you know, everybody helping each other out and learning things. It's a, it's a great resource. So uh, anyway, I hope to uh, get cracking on that transmission this weekend and get it done. Um, it's supposed to be warm this weekend. Uh, hopefully the garage will, you know, warm up on its own. And uh, we can uh, get all the... Uh, clutch seals changed out we can change all the bushings on the transmission we can uh, start assembling it and uh, hopefully like I said get it done the uh, the valve body is probably gonna take a bit of time there's a uh, the kit looks pretty comprehensive and uh, we gotta call Jerry and find out which uh, which level of performance he wants out of it because uh, the transco kit usually gives you a few options as far as what you want to do so uh, anyway I'm starting to ramble, I think. Um, but, um, like I said, we'll see how uh, this video looks. And, uh, like I said, hopefully uh, hopefully it's a good one. So, anyhow, guys, as usual, thanks for watching as always. Thanks for the support. Um, i got a few good guys that uh, religiously watch my videos, and I, I appreciate that. You know, Jeff Chance, uh, Katie Robinson, Ruben, Jerry... Cheater 40, uh, Velvet Hammer, uh, 
Darren, of course, I don't know how he manages to watch as many videos as he does, but he watches. That's great. And uh, Street Rider 100. Uh, and there's a few other out there that uh, always watch. And like I said, I appreciate that. And uh, I try to watch as much as yours as I as, as possible. Um, I don't always comment, but uh, I'm watching. So, anyhow, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Take care.